Hello everyone, Mucklug Douglas Bartholomew Original Desquire the Fourth here, and this is a guide to the legendary backpack, The Ascension. There are three legendary backpacks in the game. Ad Infinitum from Fractals, The Ascension from 5 vs. 5 Elite PvP, and Warbringer from World vs. World. Each of these legendaries have a flashy appearance. Like any legendaries, you can swap the stats when you are out of combat. They have the maximum number of infusion slots without having to Mystic Forge them. Getting a legendary back comes with a glider of the same theme. And finally, after the release of the legendary armory that was announced, they will affect your entire account. Because all classes use back slot items, having a legendary backpack or jewelry will be extra nice for altaholics after the armory is released. Not all characters can use the same legendary armor because of light, medium, and heavy armor options, and not all classes use the same weapons, but the trinkets are universal. Making the Ascension Making the Ascension involves almost entirely playing rank PvP. If you are new to PvP, I would recommend checking out the Stronger Start to PvP guide, which will be linked in the description. I'm going to continue assuming that you know the basics. Something I want to point out early on, you don't have to be great or high ranked at PvP to make this item. You just have to be able to play the ranked game mode and win sometimes. You can be a bronze level player and still get this done over time. You will need at least 125 PvP League tickets. At most, you can earn 110 from a standard season. That means it will take a full season's worth of tickets, plus a little bit more from another season, to finish this item. A PvP season lasts approximately 8 weeks, after which you can earn more tickets again if you've hit the cap. Nearly all of the achievements required for the Ascension can be earned on accident by players who just play ranked PvP. The main exception to this would be the achievements to win some ranked games on three different classes. This means if you focus on playing one character, like me, this can push you outside of your comfort zone. But remember, you can make alts and have them PvP ready at level 2 to get that step knocked out. Let's break it down into components. The website we're looking at here will be linked in the description. There are four large items that we need to combine to make the Ascension. The first item is the one that will take the longest by far, the Gift of the Competitor. You will get most of the other materials you need for the Ascension while you're working on the first step. This step is broken into four achievements. Path of the Ascension 1, The Thrill of Battle. There are 11 achievements you need to get on this list, but it honestly feels like five. Complete two profession achievements. The profession achievements are things like win five matches as a, insert any profession here. So that basically means get five ranked wins on two different classes. Purchase an Essence of Determination from the League Vendor. All the Essences are purchased from the League Vendor here in the PvP lobby. He's the guy who's already showing off the Ascension and looking quite nice. He also sells all of the Wings, which we will be going over here momentarily. Use the Essence of Determination in the Mystic Forge with this recipe to make a Mystic Essence of Determination. And be sure to hang on to that. It's a surprise tool that will help us out later. Buy the Recruit's Wings of Glory from the League Vendor. And play a bunch of ranked PvP. Seriously. Get X ranked points, earn some top scores, get some kills, win three matches within a 24 hour period, complete one league track, win 15 games. Really all the rest of these can be summarized with play a bunch of games. Path of the Ascension Part 2 Tapestry of Sacrifice will unlock after finishing Part 1. Win five games on three different classes. Purchase an Essence of Challenge from the League Vendor. Combine the Essence of Challenge in the Mystic Forge with the following recipe to make a Mystic Essence of Challenge. Purchase the Veteran Wings of Glory from the Vendor. And play a bunch of ranked PvP. Once you've finished Path of Ascension 2, Path of Ascension 3 Monument of Legends will unlock. Win seven ranked games on three different classes. Purchase an Essence of Discipline from the League Vendor. Combine the Essence in the Mystic Forge with this recipe to make a Mystic Essence of Challenge. Combine the Essence in the Mystic Forge with this recipe to make a Mystic Essence of Discipline. Buy the Champion's Wings of Glory from the League Vendor. And play a whole bunch of ranked PvP for the rest of these. Finally, Path of Ascension 4 Hymn of Glory will unlock. Win 10 ranked games on 3 different classes. Purchase an Essence of Success from the League Vendor. Combine it in the Mystic Forge with this recipe to make a Mystic Essence of Success. Buy the Elite Wings of Glory from the Vendor. 
I'm playing much of PvP. When you finish all four of those achievements, take the items that each of the four achievements rewarded you and combine them in the Mystic Forge to make Gift of the Competitor. Now the hardest step is behind you. Let's look at the rest. The second major item is the Gift of Fortune. I've covered this in numerous other videos as it is used in many legendaries, so I won't spend much time on this here. But here is the recipe on how to make it if you need it. The third item is the Gift of Skirmishing. This is crafted by combining this recipe in the Mystic Forge. Vision crystals can be obtained from salvaging ascended items or crafted with any of these max rank professions. Shards of glory come from PvP and they can be sold on the trading post if you somehow end up short. Certificate of support will cost you 25 PvP league tickets in total as you need five of them. Buy this item when you're done with everything else so you don't have to carry it around for possibly weeks. A perfect mist core is made from mist core fragments, which can only be obtained from the glory reward track. You will need to finish the reward track multiple times to make the core. Simply make sure that you have this track selected when you start working on the achievements and you will be getting this done at the same time. Remember, you can use boosters or guild hall buffs to speed up reward track gain. These four items combined give you your gift of skirmishing. The final item is the Wings of Ascension, which is an ascended back piece and is the precursor to the Ascension. Simply throw the four sets of wings that you buy while working on the achievements into the Mystic Forge to get the Ascended Wings of Ascension. If you want, you can do this step much earlier on to use the Ascended Wings if they are an upgrade. Just remember, remove any infusions from them before you throw the Ascended Wings into the Mystic Forge for the final forging. Otherwise, you would lose those infusions. Lastly, throw all four of the major items into the Mystic Forge to get the Ascension itself, along with a glider of the same name. Now you can awe, marvel, and wonder how you'll ever fit through doorways again. A few notes. While working on the Ascension, you will get many steps of Transcendence, the legendary PvP amulet, done at the same time. The mystic essences that you made can be combined in the Mystic Forge to create the Vial of Salt to save space. The Vial is an Ascended amulet and is also used later as part of the Transcendence crafting process. And that's all there is to the Ascension. If you need any additional details that I didn't cover, I will include wiki links to the legendary in the description so you could jump straight to any step that you need more information on. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like for the YouTube algorithm, comment if you have any questions or if you know any tricks and tips that I didn't share, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more content. A special thank you to my newest Patreon supporters who help make this content possible, and if you are interested in becoming one and getting earlier access and extra videos, there is a link in the description. My in-game name is muckluck.9082 if you need to reach me there or talk to me live any evening on Twitch. You can follow me there or see my schedule on my calendar. Links are in the description. I also invite you all to join our community Discord, link down below. You can ask any questions related to any topic of any game that I've ever made content for and get answers or just steal our memes. Lastly, if you'd like to support this channel, please consider bookmarking our Amazon associate links by simply using the link when you go to Amazon, you support this channel and the production of new videos with every purchase you make at no additional cost to you. you. You steal it from Jeff. That's all for today. Happy killing? You already used this joke in the Warbringer video. Dude, shut up. Be cool.